I rise in support of H.J. Res 98 legislation that will work to overturn the National Labor Relations Board's finalized expanded joint employer standard. In October, President Biden's radical NLRB appointees circumvented Congress to reimpose a broad joint uh, employer standard that threatens the flexibility of business owners and upends the franchise model as we know it, which has created tremendous wealth in this country. In fact, in a report released by the International Franchise Association, 74% of franchises expressed a high level of concern at the prospect of increased franchiser control, and 66% of franchisees expected the new standard to raise barriers to entry into franchising. Having started several businesses, I know all too well how additional hurdles and barriers to entrepreneurship will stifle innovation. At a time when workers and families are struggling to keep up, keep up with the inflationary reality of Bidenomics, it is appalling that this administration is now saddling entrepreneurs with further roadblocks. In particularly, the NLRB final rulemaking introduces ambiguity and potential legal pitfalls for employers. By adopting a more expansive defini definition of joint employment, the NLRB has opened the door to increased litigation and compliance challenges, which many small businesses simply do not have the resolve to handle. What we're seeing is an attempt to regulate small businesses out of business. I am proud to co-sponsor this common sense CRA to overturn the NLRB's heavy-handed joint employer rule that threatens to disrupt the delicate ecosystem that employs millions of Americans. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation, and with that, I yield back.